For today's video, we begin in Manhattan. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa Jay in New York City. I got in town this afternoon and I've been all over the city working on a super secret project. But for now, tonight, we're gonna head across the Brooklyn Bridge to get some pizza. I'm hungry. I wanna go across the Brooklyn Bridge. Nightfall, as you can see, the lights are on in Manhattan. We're gonna cross the Brooklyn Bridge at night. And on the other side, the original Grimaldi's Pizza. I've eaten there before, but it's been years. We're gonna eat some pizza at the original Grimaldi's, and we're gonna check out Dumbo. No, not the elephant. Down under the Manhattan Bridge, that's the acronym. You're gonna see a lot of stuff over there, including an old historic carousel, a great view of Manhattan across the river, and the famous photo spot on Washington Street of Manhattan and the Empire State Building. You'll see it when you get there. It's in all kinds of movies. Thanks for watching, guys. Short trip to New York City this weekend. I am Tampa J in New York City, and there's much ahead. New York City Hall right there, all lit up behind the trees. I'll tell you what, if I wasn't hungry for pizza, those hot dog carts, they smell amazing right now. So, this is the Brooklyn Bridge entrance right here, by foot. I've done this before, it was in 2016, actually one of my first ever YouTube experiments in 2017. 2016, 2017, was me walking across this bridge. I believe that video is still out there, somewhere, way back there. And here we are, walking across to Brooklyn. No sleep till Brooklyn. Of course, I've got to reference the Beastie Boys. And there's a little rain cloud above me right now. Little droplets. Wow. Look at these buildings. Look at the skyline. That's incredible. And before I get going too far across the bridge, or before I get on it, that is the One World Trade Center right there. It's a lot taller than these buildings, but it doesn't look it. It's several blocks that way. So cool. And also, this is the Municipal Building a famous filming location, and also the United States Courthouse building. I walked by there earlier and they were filming some sort of a TV show, maybe, I don't know, Law and Order? Some kind of a cop show. And it looks like there's currently a production going on in the old Justice Center. I just heard cut, and there's cameras up there. Lots of cameras. Yeah, they're filming something up there. Could be a TV show. They're rolling right now. There's the actors. Could be a law and order, I don't know. Yeah, they're filming right now, right there. It is almost eight o'clock at night. The traffic going across the bridge to Brooklyn. It's pretty busy. I'm sure it's like that all day long. You can see Brooklyn across the way there. I'm actually staying in Midtown this weekend. After I eat pizza and explore Brooklyn, I'm gonna jump on the subway. I'm gonna take the subway back and show you guys where I'm staying. Okay, getting closer. I'm gonna stop many times to check out this bridge. First time I crossed it at night, it was broad daylight the last time I did so. I was reading online, this bridge opened on May 24th, 1883, making it one of the oldest of its kind in America. I just crossed one in Cincinnati that was like 20 years older than it not too long ago. Actually, a couple weeks ago when I went to Poor Hound, Cincinnati. Down that way somewhere, Wall Street. I only know because I've been there. I think you gotta go down a couple blocks and to the right. Okay, so this is the start of the actual boardwalk of the bridge. A line down the middle to separate who's going over, who's coming back or whichever way you look at it. Look at this. That's an old hunk of steel right here. Here's where I just walked. Downtown. Wow. There's a lot of buildings right there, but that's only a fraction of a fraction of Manhattan. Again, One World Trade Center. And right here from this angle, you can already make out the Empire State Building. Look at that. Wait till we get across to Washington Street later. 
you're gonna get an awesome view of it from there and the Manhattan Bridge right over there we'll get a better view of it just wanted to show you here we come it's letting the camera roll a little bit this is where the suspension begins look at this giant cable 1800s cables not too crowded right here whoa this is so awesome it's a windy evening here look at this it's amazing what man can build and how long it lasts I mean they don't build them like this anymore let's be let's be honest this bridge would probably cost hundreds of billions of dollars to make today in materials. And a very nice lady offered to take my photo. She saw me trying to take a selfie. She's like, can I take a photo for you? I'm like, sure. And this came out pretty good. Look at that. I'm cheesing right there. Check out these cables here. Whoa, massive. Also, I gotta be careful with my hat. It's really windy. So many people stopping up here as they should, taking photos, videos, like this dude right here. I don't know, New York City at night? I think I prefer much better than the day. Look at this, Brooklyn Bridge. So I've been doing my Ancestry.com. I've been researching my Ancestry on Ancestry.com. My ancestors were Dutch. And they came to Brooklyn back in the 1600s. Actually, my first grandfather of one of my surnames is buried in Brooklyn and they had a farm in uh, Flat, Flatbrush or Flatbush. One day, I'll go to his grave. Not gonna be this trip. Brooklyn Bridge, reconstruction, 1954. So they reconstructed it, but somewhere up here it should say, there you go, 1869. That's when John A. Roebling also built the bridge in Cincinnati, same engineer. That's when he started designing this. Holy crap, look at that. So this is the pillar of the bridge closest to New York City. I believe it's a, a two, it's a one span bridge with two columns. Just letting the camera roll. I mean, this is amazing. Look at this view right here. Wow. Okay, so the wind is picking up and it's starting to rain as I'm about to go across the bridge. Awesome view right there. Ooh, hang on to your hat. <laughs> I only brought one of these with me. Maybe I should have brought a spare. You can see the rain and the lights right there. A lot of people are ducking cover. What's this say? The Brooklyn Bridge, 1867. And at that time, the largest suspension bridge in the world. Oh man, woo! I think that rain cloud will pass. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna go for it. Why not? Here we go. Oh my glory. It's raining on the Brooklyn Bridge. It's so windy. Oh my gosh, I'm holding my hat. Hello. <laughs> it ain't too bad. It ain't so bad. It ain't so bad. You're getting the win. Oh, camera's getting a little wet. Okay, I'm about three quarters of the way across. The wind's died down just a little bit. Sorry about that, there you go. A little better. Oh yeah, there's the photo right there, look at this. Breathtaking, you're gonna get a lot of Buena Vista skyline photos of New York City tonight in this video. If you take a screenshot, it'll last longer. I think we're on camera right here. There's the Manhattan Bridge. So the area in between the Brooklyn Bridge and the Manhattan Bridge is called Dumbo, down under the Manhattan Bridge. That's gonna be the main area tonight. We're gonna to get pizza, and then we're gonna explore that area. Wait till you see what's over there. I'm gonna get pizza because I haven't eaten it all day. I'm gonna do that first thing. We're gonna to go to Grimaldi's. And I remember seeing these locks the first time I came over the Brooklyn Bridge and thinking, what is this? Correct me if I'm wrong, but it has something to do 
with relationships. Okay, here you go. L and D made a commitment. Looks like April 21st, 2023. That's almost a year ago. So there you go. You're supposed to come up here and secure your love to the bridge. Place a lock. Now I'd put my hat on and take a really cool picture right here. Check this out. Whoa, but my hat's gonna fly off, so I'll just get in the video. And the Brooklyn Anchor. Look at that. Looks the same as the other side, the Manhattan side. So when we're over at the bridge, the Manhattan Bridge later, we'll get a good view of the Brooklyn Bridge all into frame from a distance. It's incredible. I think of so many movies filmed right here too. Right now I'm thinking of Spider-Man. I don't know why, I'm just thinking of Spider-Man. Subway train going across the Manhattan Bridge right now. Look at that. And another great photo spot right here on the Brooklyn Anchor. Look at this. Incredible. And I believe, oh yeah, you can see the Statue of Liberty. Check this out. Lady Liberty, way out there on the Hudson. Check out the riverboat too. You can see the Statue of Liberty. I can see the Statue of Liberty from here. Very small, of course. I had to reference, ah, Titanic reference. Look, of all movies. National Historic Civil Engineering Landmark, Brooklyn Bridge. Well, I'd say so. I'd say so. And hello, Brooklyn. Oh, we got 5-0 up here. That's a small car. <laughs> Oh, look at that. No locks. A hundred dollar fine. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. Oh man, there's millions of dollars of locks up here. Smith's, Maryland, December. Oh, 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 all the way down. There's millions of dollars of locks up here. And near the end of the bridge, Grimaldi's is actually on the street directly below us, but. It looks like it wants me to walk down and around to try to get to it. Looks like I gotta walk through Brooklyn Park just because of the way the streets are. And right here past this, welcome to Brooklyn. No sleep till Brooklyn. Brooklyn Heights and Dumbo, Washington Street and Cardmouth Plaza. Dumbo, see, I, I didn't make that up. And look what I got on my headphones. Oh wait. Gotta connect the Bluetooth. Tampa Jay, always on vacation. And I have officially reached the end of the Brooklyn Bridge. And this will be where I turn right. Still about 14 minutes from Grimaldi's. Hello, Brooklyn. There you go, the start of the Brooklyn Bridge from the Brooklyn side. Currently passing through Walt Whitman Park. The bridge straight ahead now. Doing a loop. All right, directly under the bridge. I may have, I didn't know it, but I probably, <laughs> I probably could have walked down these steps and avoided like 20 minutes of walk. I had no idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right underneath the Brooklyn Bridge, the start of it. There's steps up there, okay. I'm not from here, check this out. Walking that way. The restaurant is like right down there, down the street. So I'm gonna walk right down that sidewalk, right underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. Grimaldi's Pizza down on the right hand side. And right here at Front Street, check it out. The bridge up there, this building on the corner, number one Front Street, Grimaldi's. And on Google right now, they say they're not busy. Good for me, because I'm hungry. This is my third time eating here. However, my first time vlogging it. Check that out. No, wait, I, I may have, I, I don't know. It all runs together. It was like five years ago. I may have put this in the video, but I don't think I did. Skyline, New York City, across the way there. Grimaldi's. I could go for some pizza. Grimaldi's Pizzeria. No slices, whole pies only. And I remember that the last time I was here. That's why I didn't eat much all day. I had a banana back in Tampa earlier this morning. That's about it. Oh yeah, also some pretzels on the plane. I'm gonna buy a whole personal pizza. And I believe this is the same spot I sat last time at the bar. I'm gonna do a traditional 16 inch 
cheese. Maybe one or two toppings. Definitely gonna do some mushroom. They've got lots of seating in this awesome building. Also an upstairs. Some more counters against the front windows over here. Yeah, I'm sitting here at the bar. It's the same spot I sat last time. And looked up on the website. It is the original Grimaldi's. And I gotta show you the brick oven. Been making pizzas in that oven for a long time. We are directly below the Brooklyn Bridge. Just to remind you, check out this old staircase to go up to the second floor. Wow. Looks like there's like four stories in here. We're in my refreshing iced tea. We have a Grimaldi's in Tampa. Chris, the girl, and I, my beautiful fiance, we frequent it. We love Grimaldi's. And the Rays came back. Catching some of the Giants Rays game here at Tropicana Field on my phone. Now, I don't know. I thought I got the small one. I got the big one on accident. <laughs> That's all right. I don't think I'm going to eat all that, but hey, I'll take it back to my room. A little Parmesan on there. Some great pizza. Some great pie. I said this before and I'll say it again. It's all about the crust and the sauce. Both on point here. And I did it. I don't know how I did it. I don't know where I put it. Maybe because it's pretty much the only thing I've had all day. Well, I kind of did it. I'm so full. I tried to eat all my crust. It's good, believe me, it's good. So when I leave Grimaldi's, this is the area, Dumbo, that we're gonna explore. And I remembered from last time that this Grimaldi's is cash only. So you gotta bring cash. A lot of places in New York are like that. Wow, that was good. I am so full right now. That should hold me over until tomorrow night. I'm not lying. I got a big day tomorrow. I'm gonna eat when I'm finished. So, just gonna head down Front Street here down to the bottom of the bridge. Here we come Dumbo. It's a cool bench. Walking right down this sidewalk, you can actually make out part of the bridge we just walked across up there, the Brooklyn Bridge. There's several pizza places around here too, but I always go to Grimaldi's. It's good. I know I'm not gonna be disappointed. And at the end of the block, turn this corner and check it out. The Brooklyn Bridge. I'm gonna walk right underneath it, over there to Brooklyn Ridge Park. Check out the carousel. Then we'll head over to the Manhattan Bridge. All the way through Dumbo. I love that it's all lit up at night. Cool. Also, I remember this building over here. It's been restored. Last time I was here, I think they were just restoring it. It's some kind of an event center. It's an old warehouse, it's freaking wow. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. One World Trade Center. And then over here, check it out. The Manhattan Bridge. There's the carousel. I don't know if it's going right now. Pretty random, isn't it? Carousel right here. Indoors. Must have just missed it. It is pretty late. It says right here on the ground. Jane's Carousel. Made by the Philadelphia Toboggan Company in 1922. I've shown this before. It's been five years. I thought it was Casey's Carousel, my bad. It's Jane's Carousel. It's a historic one. It looks like the one in Magic Kingdom. You know, the one in Magic Kingdom, it's that old too. Actually, it's the, technically it's the oldest attraction at Magic Kingdom because it was actually created before it even existed. This is pretty, isn't it? I wish I could see it going. Although, if it were going, there'd be a bunch of people on there. And you couldn't take as good of a look at it as you can right now. So cool. Love a good classic carousel ride. And getting closer to the Manhattan Bridge. They also call this Pebble Beach here on the other side. Look at that view. And this building back here 
looks like an old warehouse building that they have restored. I believe it has restaurants in it, like in the bottom. Yeah, there's a restaurant down there. I remember that the last time I was out here. Another subway coming across the Manhattan Bridge. Also a ferry boat going under it right there. Must be a pretty good view up there. I'm gonna have to take a subway back to Manhattan a little bit. Ferry boat there. That boat just zipping across the water there. Toot toot. Okay, this might be the best spot yet. Right in front of Casey's Carousel. Observation deck. Also, a filming location. It's many of movies. There you go. Wow. Cool. Man, I really like architecture. This is so cool. Look at that New York skyline. Yeah, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna head up to Washington Street. It's just a couple blocks up that way. Actually, I think it's like right behind that big building there. Yeah, this has grown since the last time I've been here. This is called Empire Stores. Several things in there. I just can't get enough bridge. Good view of the carousel. One World Trade Center. Wow. Hard to stomach. You know what I'm thinking. Oh, some night ducks. Hey, night duck. Almost called you night wing. And I'm thinking of a scene from Sin of a Woman. Filmed right here in this street. Al Pacino. Okay, Plymouth, and this should be Washington Street. If it's Washington Street, there should be a lot of folks down here taking photos. Now it's what behind me they're gonna take a photo of. Oh yeah, this is it. <laughs> well, we'll go get it. Washington and Water Street. Check this out. This is the famous iconic shot from Water Street down Washington. The Manhattan Bridge. There's a lot of lights over here. This is kind of ruining the effect. Those aren't normally right there, but there, straight ahead, the Empire State Building. Check this out. Right through the bottom of the bridge. Car coming. All right, I just took a bunch of photos for some, uh, do, I want to say kids, but they're young adults. They wanted some photos, so I helped them out. Now the street's clear, look at this. There you go. There's a lot of cars in the street. A lot of light shining back this way. I've been on this street in the winter where there's no cars and barely any light. Pictures look magnificent. Still a cool view though. It's the scaffolding and the lights on it that's ruining the effect. So, next stop, I'm gonna walk right underneath the Manhattan Bridge. Right through there. I want a good look at it from the south side. And you can see the old train tracks. Check this out, in the old cobblestone. Brooklyn Bridge that way. This viewfinder, perfectly placed. Look at this view. Got both the Manhattan and the Brooklyn Bridge and the skyline. Awesome. Look at that. Okay, this might be one of the best spots of the night. I'm gonna stand up on this rock here. Check this out. There you go. 
If it wasn't for these trees here, you get more of the Brooklyn Bridge in there. New York City. Big Apple. Those trains do not stop across the Manhattan Bridge. Constant. It's about 10.30. I'm gonna head towards the subway, head back to Manhattan. Really love this view. This is one of my favorite spots in all of New York. Anywhere. At night. I haven't been out here during the day. I'm sure that's cool too. I'm sure that's really awesome. All right, it's been a long day and I gotta get back to get some sleep because I have a even longer day tomorrow filming all day in Manhattan. Looks like it's a 34 minute commute by train. This guy. Hello. I think he's lost his mind. It's me. Ah, I'm his mind. That is bizarre to see. That's right directly under the Manhattan Bridge. Look, you can still see the Empire State Building. Way out there. A lot of bicycles. Speaking of bicycles. Cool mural. All right, here we go. Subway. High Street, Brooklyn Bridge. I'm gonna take train A all the way to Penn Station. I've done this before. <laughs> Looks like I can only buy a single ride right now. That's fine. Credit card. You got it, 325, today's trip. Got it. All right, we're gonna slide this. Just like that. That's me. To all trains. Uh -oh. Station. And just like I wanted it to, came up at West 35th and 8th Avenue. I'm staying off of 8th Avenue. This way, past Madison Square Garden. Look at that. Go New York Knicks. Just a seven minute walk from here. Just like that old time of rocket. And a whole lot closer to the Empire State Building now. Look at this. Lit up just like Madison Square Garden, Nick's colors. I thought it was red and orange. I'm sorry, red and blue back in Brooklyn. Far away, it looked red. A lot of folks crossing the street. Yeah, we're in Midtown. This is where everyone's at tonight. This is the bumping part of Manhattan. Times Square, yeah, a little up into that way. And I just texted my pal Rick from 13X Studios, the biggest New York Knicks fan I know. He said they won a huge game tonight. I had no idea. That's probably why the Empire State Building looks the way it does right now. Also, the Rays won. They beat the Giants back at home, so that's cool. Raise up. Go Knickerbockers. Hey, you can't drive that here. You can't drive that here. Never been inside Madison Square Garden. Someday. I'd like to see the Knicks play. And there's the top side of Penn Station right there all lit up. I'm vlogging here. And I have made it to my 
weekend New York City home. This building right here, this one, you see this red door? This time I'm on the second level, the last time I was on the fifth. There's no elevator in this building, it's old what? school. I'm staying on the second floor. This is the Chelsea Cabins. I'm renting a little cabin. It's my second time staying here in New York. Five years ago I stayed here. It's cool because I got a 7-Eleven right there. I hit that up for snacks and drinks. I'm gonna do that before I get back up to my, uh, my room. Check this out. Madison Square Garden right there. Two blocks away. Penn Station two blocks away as well. That's why I stay here, because it's midtown. I can jump on the trains and ride them each way. Tomorrow, very early getting up, riding a train to the north side of Manhattan, all the way up to like, woo, 100th Street or something. All right, folks, I think I'm gonna end it right here. I'm gonna go get some shut-eye. Someone's drifted out here. <laughs> New York. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, if it's your first time, please feel free to subscribe below. There's always much ahead. Always going to be a video. Thanks, guys. Can't thank you enough for watching my videos. These are my travel vlogs. These are some of my most fun. The reason I'm here this weekend is because I'm working on a project that means a lot to me. So much to me. You may know what it is. Maybe you don't. Watch your head. All right, folks, I'll see you next time. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and no matter who you are, what you're going through, just know that there's always much ahead. My room's up there somewhere. Second floor. Maybe I'll show you. This might be my only New York video besides my project. We'll see. I'm glad I got this one up. I'm here less than 48 hours, and if things don't go according to plan tomorrow, I'm going to use my last morning to finish that video up. So it could be two or three videos from New York this weekend. Let's go check out my room.